Hamilton County Commissioners have until December 1st to finalize plans for redrawing various districts to reflect population changes. The once in a decade process has drawn criticism from a state lawmaker who says the commissioners aren't being transparent. Newsville's Keenan Scott has the details. The once in a decade district redrawing for Hamilton County is officially underway, but not everyone agrees with how the process has been handled so far. Involve the public more by giving people information before your meeting so that they can be prepared to ask questions at your meeting. The first meeting between county commissioners was last Wednesday, where they went over maps and heard from numerous guest speakers. First of all, let me say thank you to the members of the Hamilton County Commission for this opportunity to express concerns about redistricting and mapping in Hamilton County. My suggestion would be to go ahead, split that district down the middle, Highway 58. Make another district on the south side, leave Birchwood alone. Sabrina Smedley says that some potential options have been less popular than others. We had some folks from Birchwood at our last meeting saying they didn't want to be shifted like that and crossing the river into another district. State Representative Yusuf Hakim has raised concerns about the public being uninformed about the process and having it become political. It can lead to what we've had in the past and what we have right now, which is gerrymandering. Smedley argues that the meetings have been transparent, aside from being open to the public, are live streamed on YouTube. We're really going to dig in, and I hope that the software will allow them to zoom in where we can see the names of roads, where the schools are, etc. The next meeting will be Wednesday, September 29th, starting at 1 p.m. In Chattanooga, Keenan Scott, News 12 Now. The Pfizer COVID-19 booster shot is now available in Hamilton County. Last week, the CDC approved the shots for everybody older than 65. Today is the first day they're available. However, if you want a booster, you need to make an appointment first. Appointments for this week are full, but there are some available next week. Now, since the Pfizer boosters only approved booster shot available right now, officials remind residents not to mix their vaccinations. The CDC recommends that they stick to the what they receive uh, at the first uh, series. Uh, so if you receive Pfizer, we ask that you continue to get Pfizer for your booster shot. Um, and at this point, the uh, Moderna and Johnson & Johnson has not approved for a booster shot. I'm a Moderna man myself. Officials warned to make sure residents understand the difference between a third shot and a booster. Now, a third dose is administered at least one month after the second dose. A booster dose is intended for a specific group of people at least six months after their Pfizer second dose.